Hello! In this video, I want to show you how to create a dynamic template, the parts of which can change depending on key values in an Excel table. Let's say, I work in a design studio that develops and implements design projects. Typically, clients choose a design style, and I need to send them detailed information about it. Since we work with several styles, these are the parts I want to change depending on my client's request. Step 1. I need a small template for each of the styles we work with. I have already created them, let's take a look. Each of these templates contain a subtitle, a picture and a short description of the style. To easily include all of this in my response and change depending on a client's request, I will assign a shortcut to each template. Step 2. I'll include a list of those shortcuts in an Excel table. What other information do I need to include in this table? Do you remember specific project numbers such as project design cost, construction cost, material cost and construction time? They all will also change depending on the style my client is interested in. Let's have a closer look at the first column. Here I have the names of the styles we work with. These are the key values that must be unique. By selecting a key value, we specify what information will my email contain. If I select a different key value, the information will change. Step 3. To make this Excel table work for my bigger template that I will use when replying to my clients, I'll connect this table to a dataset. For this, I right-click the folder where I want to have my dataset and select New Dataset. In the Shared Email Templates app, I name my dataset and click on the Excel table from OneDrive button. I choose a file, then select a table I need. Then I click Save. Done! Step 4. All I need do is edit a big template which will contain the detailed information my client needs. All the parts that must change depending on the style chosen by my client are shown with placeholders. I'm going to replace these placeholders with fillable fields that I will create with the what to enter macro. I select the first placeholder, click the insert macro button, then select what to enter. Now I need to configure the macro. First, I select the dataset option then I tap the field name that I see as a prompt in the dialog window when I insert a template. Choose a style in my case. Then I select the necessary dataset, styles. And now I select the column with shortcuts. I click OK. A fillable field appears in the template. Let's save the changes for now and see how it works. I insert the template. Then I select the style and click OK. And here you can see the description of the style along with the picture has been inserted. It's taken from one of my small templates I created the shortcuts for. Let's go back to editing my bigger template. I select the second placeholder, click the insert macro button, then select what to enter. I already have one what to enter in my template. Do you remember the field name that I specified when inserting the macro? It's choose a style. I'll use the copy from another what to enter option which has appeared in the what to enter dialog and I'll select choose a style. All boxes are filled in automatically. In the select a column box, instead of the column with shortcuts, I'll select the column that I need this time, project design cost. I'll click OK. A fillable field appears in the template. I repeat the same steps for all these placeholders. In the What to Enter dialog, I select Copy from another What to Enter and change only the column to the one from which the data will be taken. And I click Save. Let's see how it works. I insert the template. In the dialog window, I select the style I need and click OK and I see all the details pulled from the corresponding row of my dataset. What if I want to add the information about total cost? That's easy. I will only add one more column to my Excel table 
and enter the sum formula to the cell to calculate the total cost. Now I'll add one more word to enter macro. Choose the new column. And voila! The result of the calculations appears in my email. Great! So if you need to have some calculations in your email, using an Excel table is a great option. Thanks for watching this video. Enjoy your shared email templates.